Hey everybody, I know it's been a while. I just found this footage from June. Woo! Enjoy this recipe. Welcome back everybody, it's no secret. One of my favorite things to make on the Blackstone Griddle is stir fry, and today we're doing it chicken stir fry. Vintage Blackstone apron. Blackstone 36 inch Pro Series griddle on high heat. When you're doing stir fry, you want it hot and heavy. So when you go to those Chinese takeout places, it's super quick, like 10 minutes, 12 minutes, because they have woks that are blazing hot. I'm typically using extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil down with diced chicken breast. Granted, chicken thighs would be a little more lean, maybe a little more succulent, but chicken breast, way more easier to get across the board. It's searing up, it's looking beautiful. Let's move that chicken over to the side. Going down with onion, red bell pepper, a broccoli slaw mixture, and sometimes I find that they don't have as much of, let's say, carrots or red cabbage in there. So I'll go ahead and throw a little extra red cabbage, a little extra carrot in there as well. Meanwhile, over here to the chicken, which is looking right nice, I'm gonna dump some crushed cloves of garlic to taste into my chicken, but I like a lot of garlic, so just be forewarned. Jalapeno, chopped jalapenos or serranos. If I'm using chicken or pork, I always keep it separated. I wanna make sure that it's done before I incorporate my veggies. Speaking of veggies, feel free to add a little extra oil or even water if you wanna steam them as you're going. My rule of thumb when I'm doing stir fry veggies is I want them cooked, I want some color in them, but I want a little bit of snap in there, a little snap, crackle, pop. Chicken looking good. I don't think I ever season mine the same way. Today we're using the Dash Original. Stir fry is a quick dish. It is fast and furious. And I'm using a new kind of noodle today. These are really good rice noodles. Boil these up in the house, put a little bit of avocado oil on them to keep them from sticking too much. Maybe not enough, <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm gonna mix the noodles with the veggies. Meanwhile, the chicken is done. I can tell it's done. I have small pieces and we are cooked all the way through. So this is paramount. You gotta get the oils from the food, oils from the veggies, oils from the meat mixed up with the noodles. And a rice noodle by itself is gonna be a little plain, right? Not a lot of flavor to it. But when it starts to absorb all the oils from the meat and from the veggies, whoo, baby, they're little flavor-carrying transport systems. I have some jalapeno in there, but from time to time I like to experiment. I picked up some ground red pepper recently, so if you like it spicy, a little bit of ground red pepper. And a shout out to our friends at Bashan's. They sent me this beautiful sampler. Check this out. Four different types of their Japanese barbecue sauce. These are great for any kind of barbecue or for stir fry. Today, we're gonna use this one. I'm not Japanese though. Is that pronounced yuzu? Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. So towards the end, when the stir fry is just about done, I'll put a little bit of my Bashan's on there. Towards the end, I also like to add a little bit of spinach. Pull my stir fry, put it over here on a platter. One more hit of the Bashans on top. Some sriracha, sesame seeds, just a nice little finishing touch. Take a look at that. So the cool thing about stir fry is you can make it your own. So many variables. If you don't like broccoli, that could have been cauliflower. If you don't like chicken, it could have been pork. If you don't like white onion, it could have been shallot. You get the point, but stir fry is where it's at. Let's give it a try. Back to the noodles. These are rice noodles, but they could have been soba noodles, the hokey noodles, udon noodles. It could have been jasmine rice. You get the point. So many variables with stir fry. We're getting pounded with a thunderstorm, so hopefully you can hear me. I love stir fry. It's so delicious. You can make it look appealing. 
eye candy and pretty darn nutritious as well. All kinds of veggies in there. Those new rice noodles, very low carbohydrates. This is Todd, and until next time, praise the Lord and pass the chicken stir fry. Clean and stir fry is the messiest thing you're gonna do on a Blackstone griddle because we use a sticky sauce, right? A teriyaki type of sauce. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna go ahead and scrape everything like this. Scrape it off back into your grease cup. Then you wanna grab some water. Water is your miracle elixir. Look at this. It's gonna actually pull everything off the top of the griddle. You're actually gonna get all the extra sugary residue off of your griddle top. This is all there is to it. Now friends, you don't need to use water when you're cooking burgers or quesadillas, but this is an extra messy stir fry dish with a sugary sauce. Make sure you get all the extra residue off your griddle top. Be careful if you're not using gloves like I am. And then just grab the cooking oil of your choice. Today it's extra virgin olive oil. Wipe it into your griddle top. Let it smoke off for a minute or two. Turn your griddle off and it's ready for the next cook.